Let's make a frame. I'm going to go to my shapes and insert a square. And then I'm going to unlock this, which unlocks the shape. You can also click here. I'm going to make it a 5 by 7 shape rectangle. Oh, I did 71. Nope, let's not do 71. Let's just do 7. Okay. So now I'm going to right click on that and duplicate. Make this one. Let's go unlock it again. Make this one 4 by 6. Okay. So now I'm going to put this one over the top. And since I don't want to eyeball it, I want to exactly center this. I'm going to do a big window over the top of both of them. I can tell they're both selected because the background over here is lighter. Let me click off of this. If I just click on one, that's telling me I have that square selected. Now I have that square selected. What if I want to select both of them? I hold my shift key. I can click on both of them. Now they're both selected. Or I can make a ginormous window around both of them. But you can see that the color background changes and that's how you know you have it selected. Now I'll go up here to align and go center it. So now it's perfectly centered one over the other and I'll go slice. And I'll remove these center pieces and now I have a frame. You can also do that with a circle. Oops. Let's enter, insert a circle. Let's go four inch circle and then we're good. Right click and duplicate and let's make a three point seventy five. Oh, hi. How about the decimal point? There we go. So this just shows how you can adjust things on the fly. Okay, so now I'm going to select both of them and go to the line and center it. And then go slice. And now I'm left with a little ring. So now I could duplicate that and then change that to be three inch ring. And boom, now it's set up in there. Oh, guess what else I could do now? I could take some text and put that in there. What if I make this even smaller, like a two inch? Yeah, I know it's not centered now, so I'll do that. Align, center them. Okay. And I can take the word love. Let's make it smaller. But I could now come in here and curve the text so it fits into the shape of the circle. You could put somebody's name in there, whatever you want. So that's how easy it is to make some frames.